So Sadhguruji, we also have a set of e-media questions mm-hmm. that have come to us. So we have a question from Erin Hestrong. He uh, just to give a little bit of context, we saw the video of Sadhguruji running on Himalayas, playing football, playing cricket. So sir, in that context, how to keep yourself on the go all the time? On the go. You don't have to be on the go all the time. If life demands, people ask me, Sadhguru, how are you active like this? Because generally my schedule is anywhere between eighteen to twenty hours a day, seven days of the week, three sixty-five days, non-stop. For many years it's going on. Bye bye bye. I'm I'm complaining and the guy is clapping about it. <laughs> so people keep asking, how do you keep yourself like this? How do you do this? See, I'm essentially lazy. It's just that the situation in the world demands action. Left to myself, I would close my eyes and simply sit. I'm made like this, if I close my eyes, I can sit like this till I fall dead. Really. I have really no need for action. I'm not trying to keep myself busy. There's a lot to be done, so you're doing. People ask me, Sadhguru, what's your dream? What is your dream? I said, my dream is the day I'm unemployed, that's a great day. Because if I'm unemployed, it simply means everybody is doing fantastic. What more do you want? Dream fulfilled? So, action is not something that you decide. You just decide your intent. Action, the world will decide how much of what. I… I'm, you know, at these economic forums and stuff, I'm at the World Economic Forum. This guy in front of business schools in Harvard Business School, one professor comes, Oh, you're that amazing tree planter? I said, No, I'm not a tree planter. <laughs> he said, No, no, you planted those millions of trees. Yes, I did, but I'm not a tree planter. <laughs> then what do you do? I said, uh, I make people flower, not plant trees, but I'm planting trees because the goddamn trees are missing where they should have been. Where they should have been, they are not there. It's like this, two men were working on the street. One man is digging pits, behind him another man is coming and closing and closing and going. Somebody else was driving by, they saw this ridiculous activity. One guy digs the pit, another guy closes the pit. So they stopped and said, hey, what are you doing here? Why are you guys working like this? One guy digging, another guy closing. They said, no, no. Uh, the in-between guy has gone and leave, he's the tree planter <laughs> He's not there, we're doing our work. So a lot of people are doing work like this, I'm doing my work. You have no work on this planet. If the planet needs work, if the world needs work, we will do it. Otherwise, why should I think this is my work? Sadhguru, what's your mission? So no mission, I'm just fooling around a bit <laughs> because you have no business to have your own mission. Life has its own mission. In some way, if you can assist and serve that, that's about it. What is it that you have your own mission? Are you some kind of a tyrant? All missionaries are tyrants in some way, unknowingly. Yes, those who think they have a mission, there is no mission. What is needed, you do, especially when you study in a business school and get certain competence to manage things, or create things, you must create what is needed, not create some rubbish and push it on them. Yes? Yes or no? You must see how to make life better, how to solve situations which are problematic to a whole lot of people. You must look for solutions and solutions for the existing situations. And of course, there are experts who go on creating new problems. So you will never be short of problems, believe me. You just have to create solutions, not go on a mission mode. <laughs> That's for Mussolini <laughs>